amazing. Yeah. Although Harold Nashman has mentioned to me that he is a little bit worried about the photos that may be coming home. Not to worry, take all the photos you want. Ladies and gentlemen, the PG unit is proud to present a Wahanawan first. The first time the campers have ever done the Rocky Horror Picture Show!
Everyone knows Betty's a wonderful little cook. Yes. And Ralph himself will be in line for promotion in a year or two. Yeah. Hey, Janet. I got something to say. I really love the skillful way you be the other girls to the bride's bouquet.
so, after braving the inclement weather, and in some not too little time, it seemed that fortune had smiled upon Brad and Janet, and that they had found the assistance that their plight required, or had they. There was certainly something strange about this house, to which a flat tire and a wet night had brought them upon, which made them feel apprehensive and uneasy. If they were to reach their destination that night, they would have to ignore such feelings and take advantage of any help that was offered.
just seems so unhealthy here. It's just a party. Well, I want to leave. We can't go anywhere until I get to a vote. Then ask that butler or someone. Just a moment, Janet. We don't want to interfere with their celebration. For God's sakes, Brad, this isn't the Junior Chamber of Commerce. They're probably foreigners with different ways than our own. They may do some more folk dancing. Look, I'm cold, I'm wet, and I'm just plain scared. I'm here. There's nothing to worry about. Thought that you were the candy man. Don't get strung out by the way I look. Don't judge a book by its cover. Book. I'm not much of a man by the light of the day, but by the night I'm one hell of a lover. I'm just a sweet transvestite, strong transsexual, Transylvania. you a sound. You look like you're both pretty groovy. Well, if you want something visual that's not too abysmal, we can take in the nose to remove it. I'm glad we caught you at home. Could we use your phone? We're both in a bit of a hurry. We'll just stay where we are and then go back to the car. We don't want to be any worry. We got top of the flats. Well, how about that? Well, babies, don't you panic. By the light of the night, it'll seem all right. I'll get you a suntan and mechanic. I'm just a sweet transvestite. Oh, baby, from transsexual Transylvania. Why don't you steal the night or maybe a bite? I'll show you my favorite obsession. I've been making a man with flaws, hair in a tan. He's good for relieving my tension. I'm just a sweet transvestite from transsexual uh, Transylvania. Just a sweet transvestite from transsexual uh, Transylvania. You come up to the lab, see what's on the slab. I see you quiver with anticipation, but maybe the rain isn't really to blame. I'll remove the cause, but not the Yes, and it seems like only yesterday since he went. 
you both style. Here, put these on later. It'll make you feel a little less vulnerable. Usually we don't receive guests around here, let alone show them hospitality. Hospitality? All we wanted was to use your, what? All we wanted was to use your phone, damn it. A simple request which you have chosen to ignore. Don't be ungrateful, Brad. Ungrateful? What a perfect example of man. Oh, it's so <laughs> dominant. You must be very proud of him. Yes, I am. Oh, Brad, so do you have any tattoos? Certainly <laughs> not. Oh, well, what about you, Jack? <laughs> Ask, everything is in red. We merely await your command. Tonight, my unconventional conventionalists, you are here to witness a breakthrough of biochemical research. Yes, tonight, paradise is to be mine. It was strange the way it happened. My back was against the wall, all my chips were down, I panicked and I was trapped. But then all the pieces seemed to fit into place. <laughs> now, I have the gift of the breath of the spark of life. I have the knowledge through life itself. Brad Majors and Janice, you are here to witness my beautiful creation, birth, riffraff. Set the oscillator to level. <coughs> Open up the oscillator. Set the power vault. Three more points.
his paws as he worked for his cause. We'll make him glisten and gleam with a massage and a little bit of steam. He'll be pink and white lean. He'll be a strong man. Oh, honey, but the wrong man. He'll eat, he'll eat nutritious, high protein, and swallow raw eggs. Try to build up his shoulders, chest, arm, and legs. But only he knew my plan. In just seven days, I can make you a man. I don't want no dissension, just hard work and tension. So strenuous living, if only I understand when in just seven days, I can make you a man. In just seven days,
and reality as we know it is merely a figment of our imaginations. If this is so, Brad and Janet are quite safe. But there are some who have a far more physical philosophy, those who would stop at nothing to satisfy their base desires. It could be that Brad and Janet are among those who hold the devil's reins. Yes, again and again in Janet's thoughts. But it was too late to turn back now. It was as if she was riding a giant tidal wave. It would only be foolish to fight against it. Her only chance of survival would be to ride it out, adapt, and even survive. manipulated the selector switch on the TV monitor. The screen threw up images of empty rooms and corridors. Finally, she stopped at Brad's bedroom. Oh my god, Brad, how could you? What has that madman done to you? You can't trust anyone. <laughs> if one is suffering the pains of remorse for an indiscretion, it would seem logical that the transgressor would be sympathetic toward the loved one caught committing a similar misdemeanor. But emotion is an irrational and powerful master. And from what Janet witnessed on the monitor, there was little doubt that she was indeed its slave. Is it true you don't like men with too many muscles? Tell us about it, Janet!
what was over, not the night, that was certain. Brandon and Janet's engagement, their love for one another. <laughs> oh. Who could say for questions such as these cannot be answered by the academic? It must be left for the heart to solve. And Brad, you could say, had plenty of heart. <laughs>
unfortunately plans have changed. I'm sure you're a doctor. I don't think I have I can assure you that Brad's presence here comes as a complete surprise to me, as does the setup you have. I didn't expect it to be quite so... Sophisticated Dr. Scott, or should I say Dr. Barnes? What exactly are you implying? It's all right, Brad. Oh, this machine here. What do you think it is, Doc? At this precise moment, it's hard to tell, but it seems to be made from a metal that is not of this earth. I would say it's from another planet. Dr. Scott! Janet! Dr. Scott! Janet! Trash! Rocket! Dr. Scott! Janet! Janet! That's it, I made you rock and I can break you just as easy. I'll pull your puzzles. I suppose you intend to do as that as you did with Eddie. Eddie! Shh! Eddie, I've seen him. He looks terrible. And what do you know of Eddie? Don't you? I happen to know a great deal about a lot of things. Eddie happens to be my nephew. Dr. Scott! Yes, Brad, my sister's boy. I knew he was in with a bad crab, but it's worse than I thought. Ailey! Tell him, Doc. <coughs> Tasting nice. 
What further indignities were they to be subjected to? And what of the sonic transducer and the floor show that had been spoken of? From what had gone before, it was clear to be no picnic. <laughs> Thank 
Whatever happened to Fay Ray? That delicate satin draped fray. As it clung to a thought, how it began to cry. Cause I wanted to be dressed just the same. Give yourself over to absolute pleasure. forever. Can't you just see it? Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Don't dream it. Be it. We've got to get out of this trap before Deccan and Saps our wills. I've got to be strong and try to hold on. And my mind will snap. And we'll live life the way we'll be lived for the thrills.
Do your worst and fear it hates me. No! Oh, God! Yes, perhaps it's for the best.